Hello, this is All Triforces. This is my second review. And uh, we're going to be doing the iPod Touch once again, except it's going to be for the apps. I'm actually doing an app review, like me. Uh, uh, let, let's turn this on. You like my background? You probably can't see it because my, uh, my quality sucks so much. I can't even tell you. So, we're going to start off with Rick Rocketston. And first of all, I want to say um, that I'm sorry that this video is going to be short, but I'm I'm not really good at reviews, as you probably noticed on my iPod Touch review. But we're going to be doing Rick Rocketston. This is a actually this is Rick Rocketston Lite. There's a free version, the paid version. All it has is more levels. This um, one has. Um, five levels and the paid version has 14 and as you can see I beat all of them so I beat all of them in like a day now the one I hate the most tight agony so since I hate that one the most we're gonna what the what just happened tight agony please okay there we go uh, as you can see this is more of an arcade type of feel so, you're this little small guy that's walking around. Let me zoom in. Alright. Yeah, arcade feel, nothing much to it. Bottom screen, actually not the bottom screen, but at the bottom of the screen, you have these controls. Move up. Yeah, move left, right, up. Up is like down, jump, and down. G is for a grenade. You can throw grenades. And S is shoot. Why would you want to shoot for those little guys that are spinning around up there? So. Ugh. Okay, that didn't go so well. As you can see, the touch screen doesn't really pick up your movement that good. It's not really uh, a type of app with no share commands. Now let's try to kill this guy. Yes. Done. Now. Jump. Jump. As you see, it didn't jump when I wanted it to. And yeah, you you, get, you can get stuck. I want I want you, uh <coughs> glitch through the floor. And if that hasn't happened to you, you guys are lucky. It kind of like froze it. So yeah, you're basically this little guy jumping around the place who can't jump, <laughs> who doesn't want to jump for you. Yep, Rick Rock and Spin Light. Okay we're going to do pocket god bottom right corner oh you have to tip it sideways for this now basically you're god you, you have these little monkey human type of things who uh, who are islanders and they live on the side of the dust and uh, you basically can do anything to them you can throw them in the air let them drown as you just saw and you can even add more islanders. How would you do that? That little plus button. See? You can even add more than just one. You can add six. Now, they recently had an update for this one. Uh, they had the little question mark right up there that tells you what... It tells you the instructions, basically. Yeah, nothing, nothing really to it. So what can you do? You can levitate them. As you can see, I'm making this guy like crazy high. You can drop them. And you can drown them. Now nah, he's gonna drown. Hit them across. Hit them across the face. Throw them. Let's throw this guy too. Now what I basically like to do in this is hit them in the air. Ah, that's so fun. And then you add more. And you keep doing that. So yeah. Now, if you don't, it's actually a paid app. It's uh nine. It's a dollar. And this game isn't really worth the buy. But it will be worth the buy once it has an update for it, so that you can um. There's going to be sharks swimming in the water. So if you throw them in there, they'll eat them up. And you can make earthquakes and hurricanes and rainstorms and stuff like that. So once that update comes, that's when it's worth to buy.
Just by just throwing it out there. And that is Pocket God. Now, those were the two that I was going to review. But this is going to be a special review. Woohoo! I'm going to be doing Zippo. <laughs> I got this yesterday. This isn't really This is this app is really just for entertainment. If you have a um iPod Touch, this is just for fun. Let me show you that again. This is basically just a lighter. What you do, use a thumb, flip it up, and strike it. And you see the light comes on. Tilt it sideways anyways. You can see that the flame goes with it. And if you have a um a iPhone, then you can just blow it out. Yeah, you can just blow it out the mic down there. But I don't have an iPhone, I have an iPod touch. So the way to put it out, just flip it. Now you can you can uh turn the mic off with this button right here. You can see that little line go through it? Yeah. And you can also change your lighter. Plus the little I button. And as you can see, you can, there's like tons. There's like uh, seven pages of lighters to choose from. And you can even add text to it. Like, I'm going to be choosing this one, for example. And then you can just type it. Try forces. Done. And there you go. It has all try forces up there, which you cannot see. Yep, that's Zippo Light, just for entertainment, and it's done. Now, uh, that's it for my review. I I know I'm terrible at reviews. I'm not good at reviews, but yeah, cut me a break. I'm trying. And um, uh, this is my second review. All try forces. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me how bad I am. And, yep. See you guys later.